Well, you can you can think you can think of pastoral systems as a as a, a machinery to to uh, transform uh, dryland variability in a in a resource. Uh, imagine in the same way in which a boat could uh, take advantage of the variability of the ocean, so to speak. Huh? Uh, so they, they, they develop this machinery over, over time, they have expertise, expertise to use it, and they have a, a, a significant amount of knowledge embedded in, in their institutions, in their, in their uh, breeds, in their animals, huh? uh, which is part of the machinery. And of course, all this, uh, it, it, it encounters uh, transformation and changes from the outside and also, of course, from the inside in reaction to the uh, external changes and not. So you can imagine these these vehicles or this boat being constantly these days uh, um, being bumped by by other objects, other floating objects, or, or being uh, uh, partially disassembled in some important part by uh, inappropriate policies. Uh, or being uh, um, losing pieces that are essential to driving and to floating uh, as a consequence of all sorts of uh, uh, different impacts. And, and the people who are using it obviously try to keep it afloat and try to continue to use it in a, in a productive way, but it, it, it takes a lot, of, a lot of effort and they don't always do it in time. I think in three ways. The, the first is by helping to close the gap between theory and, and methodology, if you want. Uh, and by this, I mean uh, helping to, to push forward a task that has been neglected for a long time, which is uh, um, uh, making sure that the understanding, the, the, the present new understanding of pastoral systems um, is uh, connected um, and, and is not so uh, far away from uh, the methodological infrastructures used by pastoral development. So the, the, the tool bag of researchers and practitioners, huh, uh, which at the moment, uh, uh, despite of the advance in theory, is still very much rooted in the 1950s. So uh, to, 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 to give you an example, uh, center on the idea that uh, variability is a problem, it's fundamentally a problem and therefore incapable of seeing that it can also become a resource, which is the key aspect, uh, the first step to understand pastoral systems. And the second, the second way in which it can, be, it can be useful is by becoming an engine of consistency in concepts and in language. Huh? Uh, at the moment, we are still very much, despite of being 20 years after the presumed shift in paradigm, with the new range ecology in the 1990s, uh, we are still very much all talking fairly different languages, even when we do mean similar things. Um, and it would be very useful if, if a project of the scale or the magnitude of pastors could, could promote unity, you know, a front of unity in, in, in language and in concepts. Yes.